Good morning. So I've just been notified that I've got a parcel to pick up, so that's a bit exciting. I'm gonna pop down now and see what it is. So I just thought I'd take the car today. It's already 32 degrees outside, it's super hot. Uh, I didn't really didn't fancy wandering around in that. I'm already quite sunburned. I mean, when I take my shoes off, my legs are incredibly brown, so I'm really not wanting to have to have anything else cut out again. As it is, I'm kind of due for another checkup, so, you know, I suppose I better get on to that. But anyway, I, I'm excited. I'm hoping that the package is what I think it is. Um, as you may be aware, my father died a couple of months ago, and, um, as part of, as part of, I guess, remembering him, um, my mum asked me to make her a photo book, so, um, it's got some photos of him, you know, when he was younger and things like that, photos of the family, and, um, photos of the, uh, you know, us all at the funeral and things like that, so, put that all together in a nice book for her to keep, so, hopefully, this is it, um, I've been waiting for it for quite a while. Mm. Um, I hope it's all going to be good too because uh, I ordered a couple of other things through Snapfish, the company that they um, did the book, and uh, we've had some problems there. We, we ordered a mug for a relative of Hannah's and uh, yeah, it didn't make it. It arrived in 400 pieces. So, um, you know, you don't really expect a mug to arrive with some assembly required. All right, we've made it to the 7-Eleven, so I'm just going to go and get the package out of the parcel locker. It's uh, just over there. And uh, we'll see what we've got. All right, I got the package, and it's the photo books. Yay, so I'm super excited. Let's check them out. Oh, so it came out good. Cover looks nice. Photo looks okay. When mum and dad were here last, museum. So I reproduced the prayer in the front of the book and the funeral. Oh, the finishing on the book's a little bit rough. Oh, I don't know what that's all about down the inside there. Oh, well, you live and you learn. But, uh, yeah, otherwise, it looks reasonable. Some slightly rough finishing, but photos look okay, they printed out all right. I think next time I do one, I'll give Mimeo a go, which is the new iPhoto service. It's just I got a, a bit caught in the transition where uh, Apple stopped printing their own stuff now, and they've I think they've just spun the company off separately by itself. So, all right, well, they're good. I shall get them in the post to my mother which I'm sure is already going to be difficult enough for her this year, but um, maybe she'll enjoy that. Anyway, I'm going off to the mall now. Um, I'm going to try and do a little bit more Christmas shopping and a few odds and ends today, a few chores and things to do. And I'm hoping this week to plan something a bit more uh, interesting to do. So we'll get on to that. Okay, well I've had a reasonably productive morning. I've knocked over two people for Christmas, so that's done at least. Uh, still got a couple more I've got to figure out. It's really hard sometimes just to, to get something for somebody, you know, and don't necessarily just want to give them socks or underpants, which is very practical, but not very exciting. So anyway, I'm um, gonna get on to some of the other things now. I might give the car a wash. Uh, it's still pretty windy. I'd really like to fly, but I just don't think that's gonna happen. It's um, been so so gusty lately. I was doing like 60k winds yesterday. They're apparently even having trouble getting people to fly out of the airports and stuff in Sydney and things. So obviously the coastline's getting a real pummeling at the moment. So that's kind of a bummer. Okay, well that's done now. Sweating bullets. It's getting warm. 
Here, I'll give you a quick tour. Okay, so this is a Hyundai Veloster. Uh, it's a slightly newer model. The old one had uh, has like a black scoop sort of looking thing on the bonnet. I'm not quite sure why they've dropped that. It doesn't really, um, I don't imagine it would add a lot of cost, but whatever. It's uh, still very sporty and tidy, some nice wheels. Um, it's a three, three door hatch, so there's uh, one door on either side, and then there's sort of like a little um, quarter door here at the back. It's only on the passenger side though, so you can get in from the curb and not from the road side. But, uh, it's quite nice, quite comfortable. Got some cup holders here, so that's a bit of an upgrade for the kids. I won't have drinks rolling around everywhere. A lot of kids would be lucky if they get drinks on this. <laughs> the interior it's very sporty it's got sort of a I don't know feels to me like a bit of a stealth plane thing going especially we've got these big handles on the door and on the console there uh, I've got a manual because autos are okay but it's nice to have a bit of control cup holders push button starts a bit funky uh, and it's sort of got a proximity key as well which is quite nice so you don't have to fanny around getting your keys out all the time A nice big boot filled with the obligatory shopping bags now that no supermarket will provide you with any. Uh, I was quite thrilled to get a sunroof with this one. This is the first time I've ever had a car with sunroof. I just opened it up because it's stifling hot inside from sitting out at the moment. Uh, but it's quite good. It's got the, the glass piece and then uh, there's another thing where it pulls like a roller blind across it as well which is good for when it becomes too intolerably hot and one thing I'm quite happy about is uh, it's got a um, nice CarPlay system now that actually works I think it's the first time I've actually had a system that works uh, usually the other ones require a lot of faffing around but now I just get in and it connects up and, and it goes so that's fantastic I couldn't be more delighted quite a nice dash there coming up on our first service soon so I thought it seemed a bit premature, but you know, if they want to, why not? Uh, classic rock there. Uh, like a little half console, there's a full bucket in there. Nice little space here. As uh, it seems to be standard on Hyundai's, there's always a lot of cigarette lighters. So there's a couple of attachments there. Here and there. Uh, cruise control which my son's just given me a lesson in so good to know kind of still freaks me out that the car continues along at speed but I'm sure I'll get the hang of it eventually right so that's the new toy I'm quite thrilled with it I think we're both quite happy with it at the moment it's a really nice little car and it's the first time I've ever actually owned a new car I've never had a new one before they're just too expensive in Australia usually but uh, going to buy a second-hand car, they were finding the pricing was virtually the same as a new one anyway. So I figured, what the heck, get a new one, it'll last us for a while. Um, but uh, it, it's quite a weird situation here in Australia. The, um, they used to have their own car market, which was fine. So you could understand that they would be protecting their own market. So they um, stopped all the imports and things, which usually meant the prices were quite high. But you were protecting Australian jobs and everything, so that's fine. Um, but now all the car manufacturers have gone and there are no Australian made cars here anymore and all the cars are still expensive so um, I think probably a lot of it is to do with the government getting their piece of the action off the price um, and so it's in their interest to keep the prices high but it's certainly very anti-consumer uh, in New Zealand they uh, wanted to get rid of a lot of the old bangers and things off the road because they were unsafe I remember hearing about one car that ripped a half across the middle of the car because it had so much rust as it was going down the road and continued on in two separate pieces. Um, one of the ways they combated that and to get better quality, safer cars on the road was to allow imports. So um, basically you could, after a year in Japan, I think they, they forced them to have to sell them um, so that they keep rolling them over and they're, they're good. Uh, but a lot of the Japanese cars used to land in New Zealand and very competitively priced 
good features, really good condition, because they're only a year old in most cases. Um, and that just meant we had a lot of better cars on the road. You could afford to get a really decent car. Um, I had a really nice Tiptronic station wagon uh, when I was there. Um, you know, all the, all the features and everything. And um, I think I only paid 15,000 for it. So, you know, and over here, you just, you wouldn't even get a look in at that price. So, uh, yeah, I think that's one thing you really need to, to change Australia is uh, maybe it might be time to deregulate the car market. You've got no competition now, um, well, no local market. Um, just let everybody come in and, and bring in the best cars you can get for a good value. It's better for everyone. It's good for the consumers. It's good for road safety. School's finished and everything now, and tonight we've got the... Um, school's musical presentation uh, basically the kids perform and show you what they've done during the year so we've reached that time of the year now we've got to go through the cycle of prize givings and performances and everything else so we're going to head off now and check out Han she's been doing um, choir or music group I think and uh, also learning to play the clarinet so it'll be interesting to see how she does so I'll probably finish the vlog there um, so the performance was Vlog ends. Um, if you enjoyed the vlog, please click subscribe. Click the little bell icon to the side as well so that uh, I can get YouTube to notify you when I post another video. And uh, feel free to leave any comments below. Thanks for watching. Now enjoy the performance.